Hey guys, what's going on? Kenny here. I am going to be doing quite a few fall looks over the next few weeks. These are both what's trending and some of my favorites. A lot of it is inspired usually by nature or something. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Um, the first look is going to be a smoky red violet eye. The first thing that you want to do is to prime your eye. Today I'm going to be using Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion and this is in the anti-aging formula. And the reason why I'm using the anti-aging formula is because it has a little bit more tack to it. Just take it just a little bit on my finger and I'm going to press it into my eye. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using a red violet blush. This is actually in the Mary Kay line. This is called Tea Berry. It's a really bright, vibrant red violet and I'm going to put this using an angled brush and I'm going to place this right into my lash line. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the, curve, the crease of my eye and do this with the red violet blush. And once I've got that pigmented, I'm going to blend it. And what I'm doing is I'm actually just blending inward. I want the thicker part of the shape of my eye to be on the outside, and I want the smallest point to be on the inner corner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deeper violet shade, and with the same brush, I'm going to apply this to the, just the outer corner of my eye, and this is just, it's just pure violet and then cut this at the bottom of the crease to accentuate the red violet. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath, but I'm only going to be going halfway in. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to take a fluffy brush, looks like this, and I'm going to take some loose shimmer powder. This was actually a discontinued line. This is Revlon Skin Lights Loose Powder, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this on my lid. I'm going to remove any excess powder and blend it into the violet. After that, I'm going to be using a Sephora uh, black pencil. I always use waterproof just in case. And this is it right here. And I'm going to use this to line my waterline and a very fine line just above my lashes. I'm going to concentrate most of the color on the outer corner of my eye and wing it up just a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit more of the tea berry color and put it underneath. And this is actually a very dramatic smoky eye. Okay, here's my twist on the entire look. I'm gonna actually make it a metallic smoky eye. So what I'm taking is an ultra fine glitter that you can find at any craft store. And you can also use pigments or anything like shimmery or anything like that. And this is a royal purple. This is one of the jewel tones. 
And if you use glitter, make sure that it is ultra fine, otherwise you could actually injure yourself and scratch up your face. So I'm going to take a little bit more primer and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on a very thin eyeliner brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line along the red violet. What I'm actually doing is I'm stifling the product into the red violet, so that way I'm not going to streak the color in any way. And then I'm going to take a smudging brush, and I'm going to take the glitter and apply it. Okay, and after that, I'm going to clean up any fallout that I've had using a brush, a large fluffy brush. I'm actually going to go inward. And I'm also going to clean up the shape of my eye using a little bit of BioElements Makeup Dissolver. And I put this on a cotton pad and I fold it in half. And I will actually go along the contour of my eye to clean up the shape. And after this, we are going to apply some lashes, and these are Revlon Runway Lashes in 91213. These are a blue-violet lash, and I love the flare on the edge of these because I do have like more of like a slanty eye, and these happen to accentuate them and make them a little bit larger. Take a little bit of dual lash adhesive. I'm going to take a small bead and put this on the strip of the lash. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and place it on the inner corner. Once it sets, I'm actually going to take a little bit of liquid liner and put it right over the lash line just to blend it a little bit more. Now that these have dried, I am going to be taking some liquid liner, and this is just Sephora waterproof liquid liner. I absolutely love this stuff. I love the fine tip on it. And I'm actually just going to draw this in the point of my eye, right in the corner, and right along the lash line. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this, and stay tuned later this week for my second tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe, leave comments down below, and give it a thumbs up, and I will be talking to you soon. Peace out, I love you guys. Mwah.